Uh, what do you make of this new development and what are the chances that Salvini can still win? Hi, good morning. Well, I mean, a delay is not overly surprising in the sense that, first of all, it's highly unusual for Parliament to get together anyway in the summertime. I mean, I, I can tell you from the ground that although the news is all over the story about elections, but most people on the ground have not even cared about in the last few days. And more importantly, as, as you've seen, the opposition is very fragmented because although the Democratic Party and the Five Star Movement technically have sufficient MPs to take over, neither of them actually really know what to do to revive growth. So taking over now is a short-term gain for parliamentarians. But it's a very, very high chance of complete devastation in terms of popularity in the, in the medium run. So Savini is going to win. It's only a matter of when. It can win now, I mean, relatively soon with an early election, or he can win even more in, uh, in a year from now. One thing that I think people completely underestimate is the fact that there is a constitutional reform that the Northern League has accepted together with the Five Star Movement. And this is one of the things that the Five Star Movement is trying to push for approval. This constitutional amendment actually could very easily send, uh, eventually give a stronger mandate to Salvini. So it's, it's not even obvious why M5 is insisting on getting this bill approved and uh, avoiding elections, because quite frankly, they have nothing to gain from it. What, in your opinion, Raffaella, should be done to improve the economy in Italy? I mean, is there, uh, are there any sort of clear and concise fixes? Well, um, there are fixes. None of them are mainstream. Uh, certainly, continuing to consolidate the budget deficit is detrimental to growth on a cyclical and on a permanent basis. The economy has underinvested now for almost two decades. It is plainly not competitive. So, um, and, this, and this is actually the biggest problem of an alternative government to one led by the League, that it will run fiscal policy too tight and it will actually undermine debt sustainability. So this is the first thing that you can do in the near term, but in the longer term, Italy, just like the rest of Europe, but in, in Italy this, this problem is more acute. You need to completely rethink the way you run industrial policy because the, we, we are structurally supporting very large companies and in Italy there is just not enough of them. You know, the whole economy is based on small companies and you need to readjust the services of the state and the tax system in a way that they can flourish. If you don't do these two things, that mm. is not sustainable in the long term.